Welcome back to 360 Strong Women. Today, we are going to work on our triceps and our pecs, our chest, our chest and our triceps. So remember that when we did biceps the other day and our upper back, those were our primary movers, making our chest and our triceps and some shoulders secondary movers. Today, we're gonna make our triceps and our pectorials primary movers, and then putting your shoulders and your upper back and your biceps into secondary movers. So they'll get fatigued, but we're mainly working on our tricep and our pectoral work today. You're gonna grab a mat, I'm gonna be low um, in most of our positions on the mat. So you wanna make sure that you've got a nice sticky mat that's safe for you, a set of weights that are heavy enough that it's challenging that you get fatigued when we hit the end of our time, but not so heavy that you lose your form. So we want to make sure form over everything else. We're going to go ahead and warm up. What we know about strength training is we need to do it at least two to three times a week. You want to do it in a varied way. We want to move our bodies every day. So we're not strength training consecutively, consecutive days, unless you're working on a different muscle group. So you might want to do strength training upper body one day, lower body the next day, or take a day in between and do some great balance and flexibility and or some cardio. And then you're ready to go again. So I'm going to open up, right, my chest, get my upper body vascular system open. I might want to reach up over my head just to get my oxygen, my metabolic system going. I'm going to mimic just some kickbacks here. Not really gonna do kickbacks today, not traditional tricep work today, because I wanna work triceps and chest at the same time. So we're gonna be doing some other things. Roll that back, squat it down, because I still want to open up my whole body. So I'm always gonna do a few little squats at the beginning of my dynamic stretching warm up. Now, I didn't wear my shoes today. You can have shoes on. It's lifting, you wanna make sure you're safe. But because of the work we're doing on the ground, I just decided not to wear them today. Remember, I'm upstairs, and so I wanna be as quiet as I can, respectful of my neighbors. If you're not in that position, and you feel like you need shoes, Put them on. I'm rolling my shoulders back. I'm just pinching back here and opening up those triceps, opening up that chest, bringing it out, opening it up, and then up, down, forward and back, up, down, forward and back, little dynamic movement, forward and back. So go ahead and grab your weights and meet me on your mat. Right. I'm gonna set my weights out of the way for just a minute. We're not gonna use weights the whole entire time, but we are going to get in and dive into the chest and triceps. So the first thing we're going to do is a push up all the way down to your belly. You're gonna extend your arms back, so we're gonna open up that chest, pin your shoulder blades back together, and push up like a little tricep push, then come down and lift your body up. So it's going to look like this. You're gonna come all the way down, lift up, push up, and then push. That's what we're doing. You want to keep your apple under your chin. We also, from head to toe, wanna to be in one line of motion. We don't want to Soften our belly and dip. So it's not a hyperextension 
of the back. You're lowering your body down and up, same level. Also, we don't want to turtle and push our head towards the ceiling, towards the floor. You want to keep your neck in a neutral position. So out under your chin, you're not turtling, you're not doing this and trying to reach for the ground. Okay, let me set our timer. We work. Coming all the way down, pinching up, exhaling out. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now, if you need to, you can slide down to a child's pose and really open up your low back or stretch out your spine in between while you're taking that little rest in between so that you can lengthen out that spine and put space between your vertebrae. That's okay. All right, really opening up the chest when we work push-ups, we work chest, back, biceps, triceps, and shoulders, abs. So it's, it's all encompassing. Laying on and pushing up, it's a little extra tricep work. Then you have to push up from the ground, so you've got a little further way to go to push your body up. Then I'm going to grab my weights and flip over. So a little supine and a little prone work today. I'm gonna grab my weights, roll down. You've done this with me before. My weights are gonna be horizontal. Now, if you need to up level, you can always come up to a bridge. If you have low back issue, your legs are here, but we're not crossing over. They're here, stack your knees and your, um, stack your knees and your hips. All right, set our timer. And then we want keep your weights right above your chest, not hyperextending, not coming over your face. Inhale, exhale. I'm also hovering here, I'm not dropping my arms all the way down. I'm at a little hover. Make them heavy. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. And then one more. Inhale and exhale. Beautiful. You can put your weights down or you can turn them vertical because we're going to do flies. So your weights are going to be vertical versus horizontal. Horizontal, vertical. I'm going to come down same way. Nice hover, nice soft. Exhale. Not up here, not hyperextended. I don't know if you can hear that thunder. It is storming like crazy here. All right, hopefully I hang on to my electric. And here we go. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. If you need to up level, again, you can be here in a bridge. Low back issues, legs are here. No back issues, but don't want to up level. You can be right there. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. One more time. Exhale that away. Drop your legs down. You can then put your weights down if you need to. I only need to because I need to reset the timer. And then we go to the next thing. So our next thing you can do with one weight or two weights. So it's going to be a tricep skull cracker, just like that. And then we're going to come over our chest, come back to the forehead, triceps over the chest, just like that. That's really going to pull at your abdominals too. You need to keep them really tight. I'm using two weights, two heavy weights. I want to go purposefully and slow. As soon as I feel this little tap, I'm going to pull it back to my 
that forehead and then lift up for my tricep. You could use one weight horizontally and do the same thing. Pick what works for you. And then we work. Inhale, exhale. Again, low back right here. Inhale, exhale. Nice and slow, hovering over, keeping my elbows tight towards my body, not splaying them out, not getting into my shoulders. I want to keep this momentum in my triceps and my pectorials. One more. Exhale, inhale, coming down. Exhale as you push away. And then I'm just going to gently roll this up. Make sure I'm not just throwing my weights away if you want to. Use proper protocol if you're doing that with weights and you're on a bench. We're not throwing our weights off our bench. We want to keep the weights nice so that they don't torque at the head. You drop a weight on the ground, you could break the torque, and then you've got these weights that twist on you and then they're not safe for you. So we want to keep our equipment nice and safe. If you've been with me for a long time, you know to go into the playlist and any of the chest workouts that we're doing where I'm teaching you how to come off a bench, you can review that. If you're new here, welcome. Hit our button like, subscribe, and share, and then you can go into our playlist and review. We've got over 700 videos right now on wellness. So the gamut is all types of workouts because we want to work out at least 20 minutes and we want to make it vary. So you can mix and match workouts. There is a plethora of strength, cardio, flexibility, balance. There's some therapy stuff for you. If you're injured and you want to know what to do, if something needs more stability or more mobility, what to do, right side, left side combination workouts, short workouts, long workouts, cardio, flexibility, balance, yoga, meditation, and then all kinds of coffee talks on the pillars of wellness. What to do with movement, what to do with your nutrition, how to sleep better, mindfulness. Go in, check it all out, and enjoy it. It is all there for you, and it's free content, and it's good content. So dive into that. All right, so the next one, we're going back into that prone position. I gave you a little leeway to get ready for this. Now, we're going to hold plank, and then I'm gonna tap my shoulder, tap my shoulder, raise my arm, raise my arm. Tap my shoulder, tap my shoulder, raise my arm, raise my arm. I want my arm and my ear to be about parallel. And I'm in a high plank to do this. You could do it in a low plank. It's a little awkward. Ooh, did you see that lightning? Here it comes. Wow, right over top of us. I know you saw that flash in your camera. That's all it is. It's a little thunderstorm here in Florida. Always um, storms in the summer when it gets really hot in the afternoon. And so here we are. If you know, you know. Okay, so we're in our high plank. I'm going to tap, tap. Raise it, raise it. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. It's like my pickleball is going to be canceled. Oh, well, there's always another day. And then release that down. You should be feeling that. And because we're working like that in a prone position and working that out, your heart rate's going to come up a little bit. You're going to be a little breathy. And that's okay. So the next one we want to do. Wow, that's some great lightning. Okay. I'm going to turn this um, kind of corner a little bit because I really want you to see what we're going to do. So it's going to be dolphin plank in a down dog and we're going to do push-ups there 
So I'm gonna get on my triceps about shoulder width. Just depends on how wide you go, depending on the comfort of those shoulders. And then my booty's gonna come in the air like I'm in a down dock. And then I'm gonna lean over, do that little push up. You're gonna roll over your shoulders just a little bit and dive into those triceps. Apple under the chin, exhale as you raise up to the ceiling, inhale as you come down to gravity, come down towards your arms. And here we go. You can feel my triceps burning already. Just hovering into that low plank. You're hovering, not putting your chest on the ground. One more. And then exhale that away. And come down. Now, you're really digging in there. Do you feel like you're pushing too much emphasis on your elbow? You may need a towel there or roll your mat up, make it a little bit more cushiony for you. All right, chest squeeze. So I'm going to come up. We're going to do those last couple of things, standing up, and then call it a day for you. Make sure when you stand up, you're not dropping your head below your heart. Then I'm going to squat down and pick up my weights. So what I want to do is set this up for shoulders, right? And then I'm going to squeeze into that chest and open it up. So I'm going to move into shoulders as your secondary here. And here we go. Squeeze in, exhale out. Squeeze in, exhale out. Squeeze your chest. Squeeze it in. Exhale it out. Squeeze. Put your stance so you can protect your back. I'm not there to spot you. And release that down. So notice that I squat down and put my weights down, keep my apple under my chin, and I'm not dropping my head below my heart because I don't want to be dizzy when I do that. All right, we've got a couple more, then you're done. Should have been really feeling that. It's a squeeze. You're squeezing those pecs in and then opening them up. You are working into those deltoids, particularly the medial part of your deltoid. All right, one weight. Split the stance. Take the empty hand. Find your AC joint. So your AC joint is that little dip that dips in. Put your fingers on it and press it so you can stabilize your rotator cuffs. Raise your arm up and then make an L. L, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. One more, last one, best one, and then bring that weight close to your body. Notice that I'm breathing out really loud on that exertion so that you can hear it to your body so you don't forget to breathe. You don't have to be that loud in your personal space or in your gym. You're inhaling, exhaling out through your mouth, um, but it doesn't have to be so loud. I'm making it loud to cue you. I want you to get used to breathing on the exertion. Same thing, rotator cuff, AC joints, press them in. So you've got stability. Split the stance, make an L. Exhale, inhale, exhale. 
exhale. That's your exertion. Pushing into that tricep muscle. You should be feeling it right there. Exhale that away. I want you to keep your rotator cuff safe. Low. Inhale, exhale, five more, four, three, two, and one. And then bring that close to your body. When you have a weight, notice, squatting down, keeping my head above my heart. Super, super important that you squat down and not bend over to pick up weights. One, you're gonna hurt your low back. Two, if you drop your head, wow, over your heart, you're gonna feel dizzy. Keep your head above your heart. I know that you're seeing these flashes. It's not my camera, it's lightning and thunder. So I think because these storms are just getting a little crazy and I wanna get this content out to you, I'm gonna go ahead and stretch you out. If you need more work, Go into our playlist, hit our button, like, subscribe, and share. Hit our movement and fitness playlist and look for chest and tricep work. We're just doing upper body to complement this. You can do that. Up and over, stretch those triceps out. Now we're doing static cool down. I want you to make sure, this is part of the workout. The dynamic warm-up, part of the workout. The stretch, the static stretch at the end, part of the workout. It's part of making it healthy for your muscles, ligaments, tendons, cartilage. Open up your chest. Because you want to get that oxygen flowing. So we're moving at the beginning. You're mimicking what you're going to do. So your brain is telling your body, this is what we're getting ready to do and you're prepared for it. And then up, down, forward, a little extension of your back and then open up the chest. Up, down, forward, that should feel good. And back, and you can hold that there. Up, down, forward and back and then you can rinse out those biceps and triceps that you just worked because we did the push-up kind a lot of extra upper body work you should be really feeling that perfect you can circle your arm out check your range of motion breathe that up you can take a nice side body stretch and stretch your whole body. I'm feeling that, feels good. Over to the other side, take one more big breath up. Exhale it all away and go in peace. Your tricep and pectoral or your chest is done. Now, are there other exercises that you can do? There's a ton of them. You can use equipment. We just did a variation today, and I wanted to work you in supine and prone positions. Now, we just we did a little standing, right side, left side. We did that, too. Always want to throw those in if you can, but getting into that prone position and really working core and then those muscle groups, um, super good for you. Well, more lightning. So I'm going to go before I lose my electric. I hope you have a great day. I hope you enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. I hope this content gets to you quickly. Fingers crossed with this weather that's been crazy. Have a great day. Leave me comments below if you have questions about any of these exercises and I will see you for the next video. Bye.